uh, greetings to everyone here we have a new review for you this is something that uh, uh, was gifted to me by a friend of mine uh, a very good friend uh, from Dublin and uh, his name is Damien thank you Damien for for this lovely gift and uh, I think uh, this Bible should uh, be reviewed this is uh, something really special to me because it is a messianic uh, uh, version called the tree of life version uh, it is a uh, uh, done in a very nice uh, imitation leather it's a paste down bible uh, low cost but is very well put together and it also comes with this spine that says uh, holy scriptures tree of life version and the logo of uh, baker's books a division of baker publishing group from grand rapids in michigan and uh, let's open this up and see what this is all about. This Bible uh, is done by the Messianic Jewish Family uh, Society. And uh, uh, Baker's Books basically are doing this. They're publishing this for them. And uh, it's a very neat uh, uh, edition. You can actually read this uh, for yourself. I'm just going to put it there for you. So if you really want to read it, you can stop the video and take a look. This version of the Messianic Jewish Family Bible Society was done uh, also uh, basically uh, in partnership with the King's University, which is the official international Christian university uh, that partnered with the Messianic Jewish Family Bible Society. Uh, now, this one is printed in China, and uh, as you can see here is the 2015 edition right there. And this is the table of contents. Uh, which are very very nice indeed uh, it brings basically all the Jewishness of the scriptures uh, to life and uh, focusing obviously uh, on Messiah Jesus and uh, what it, this uh, uh, edition does is this version does is basically bringing some of the original names and the concepts uh, back from the Hebrew into the English uh, language for example instead of saying Jesus which is a transliteration of the Hebrew word Yeshua which is actually God's salvation well you will find that the, the name of uh, uh, the Christ or Messiah is being put back into the Hebrew original name uh, uh, it's a very interesting Bible uh, because it also uh, helps you to understand a little bit more of uh, Jewishness of, of, of the, the original uh, writers so you will find that this uh, Bible uh, will be using uh, most of the time the standard Bible names that you will find in any English translation, but uh, you will have exceptions like, for example, Jesus. You will find that uh, they're using his Hebrew name, Yeshua, or like Miriam, uh, which is uh, um, his mother, uh, also known as Mary, or, for example, James, no longer called James, but Jacob, which was his brother, or instead of Jude, you will find Judah, which was his brother. Or also like uh, Judas, we know Judas, right? Well, uh, his real name was also Judah, which was, who, which was the betrayer, or his betrayer in this case. So, so let's take a look at uh, what other uh, uh, things you're going to find here. For example, uh, instead of uh, Holy Spirit, you're going to find that this Bible calls him Ruach HaKodesh which actually means the Holy Spirit. And where can we find this? When well, Genesis 1, here you have, Now the earth was chaos and waste, darkness was on the surface of the deep, and the Ruach Elohim, in this case is using the, the Hebrew uh, God Spirit, or Spirit of God, uh, would be better translated, the Spirit of God was hovering upon the surface of the water. So he, this Bible is using the original Hebrew, uh, Ruach for Spirit, or for breath and Elohim which we all know that means God uh, when it comes to uh, the Father the Son and the Spirit they're going to be using instead of uh, the tetragrammaton yod he vav he which uh, many people will pronounce as a Yehovah or Yahweh uh, or so on or even the Lord is going to be uh, translated as Adonai which is a Hebrew word for uh, Lord or our Lord Master okay and 
uh, that happens in different places where, for example, the name of God here is also El Elyon. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, other parts of this Bible and see what other changes uh, you may find that uh, are quite neat. For example, let's take a look. Uh, let me see if I can find, for example, here. Uh, they are using the names or titles for God in the original Hebrew. Here she's talking about that from God of your father who helps you and Shaddai who blesses you. You're using the Hebraic name uh, or title for God in this case. That's also something that uh, it brings back uh, to mind that we're actually talking of a Jewish book. For example, right here, uh, then Moses took the blood sprinkled it on the people and said behold the blood of the covenant which Adonai has cut with you in agreement with all these words so instead of a yod he vav he Yehovah Yahweh whatever you want to pronounce it is gonna come up with uh, the Hebrew word Adonai which means uh, Lord or Master so let's take a look at this is a black letter uh, the font is, is very modern Okay, uh, it's a pretty nice size, around 9, 9.5. And uh, there's other changes, like for example, instead of saying law, you're going to find that it brings uh, the original word in Hebrew, Torah. And uh, instead of priest, you're going to find that it says Kohen. And uh, instead of uh, children or sons of Israel, you will see that it says Bene Israel. So these are different uh, 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 words that haven't been transla translated but rather transliterated from the Hebrew into English to uh, refresh our minds uh, that uh, uh, what's being read behind the English is actually a Hebrew text. Uh, for some people would be interesting, for other people this could be uh, quite new, but nevertheless it is uh, it there for you if you kind of like to know a bit more of uh, Hebrew behind the English text. So this is a black letter and uh, you go to the New Testament you will see that uh, for example in, in the, the Gospels that the, the, the black letter is there, it's not uh, red. Uh, now the paper is quite thin, which is a thin line, but uh, the print is pretty dark and the actual ghosting is not terrible. Now I have to say it is there, the ghosting is there, so if you are very uh, uh, fussy about, about having ghosting in those pages, this may be not the right Bible for you. Uh, I have to say this. Uh, quite enough a lot but uh, I have to say there's quite a lot of ghosting in some areas and uh, not too bad in others like uh, you can see a lot of ghosting here but there's not so much here but I suppose there's a uh, I don't I don't really uh, have a point reading this Bible it looks like it's line matched the chapters are very dark and big right there it comes with titles for each section of the Bible and uh, it comes with some uh, um, references okay at the bottom of the pages not a lot it's just a few of them as you can see here but they're there if uh, you want to have a look now what's also very interesting about this edition of the bible is that in the back you're gonna find for example um let me, see, let me go there one second you're gonna find a few prayers uh, that uh, in in our Jewish communities, Messianic Jewish communities, uh, we find very helpful. For example, here we have uh, the Shema. Uh, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one, from Deuteronomy 6.4. And you have the Hebrew text and also the transliteration. If you really want to learn how to pronounce the original text, uh, from English into the original Hebrew, Shema Israel Adonai Loheinu Adonai Echad, Baruch Shem Kevod Malchuto Leolam Vaed. So, it's it's there for you if you if you really would like to learn a little bit of Hebrew. It's there, and it also helps you to learn how to pronounce it properly. And uh, we've got also the uh, reading 
uh, portions for each Shabbat, for each week of the Bible. Uh, so also it helps you to find your way throughout the new, sorry, throughout the Torah for each uh, week to read uh, the portion according to uh, the tradition that we've been uh, following since uh, uh, very, very ancient times. Uh, Yeshua himself was probably reading uh, at, at the synagogue these portions each Shabbat. So uh, we, we like to follow that tradition, which is also a good tradition. Not all traditions are bad, but this one is a good tradition to keep reading uh, the foundations of our faith and uh, the commandments of our Father given to us for righteousness. But uh, that's just there. If uh, you want to have a look, it's neat. Uh, here's the Tree of Life declaration. It is a tree of life to those who grasp it, and happy are those who cling to it. it its, its ways are ways of uh, pleasantness, and all its paths are shalom. That's Proverbs 3, 17 and 18. And here we have also the ironic benediction. Uh, Adonai bless you and keep you. Adonai make his face to shine on you and be gracious to you. Adonai turn his face toward you and grant you shalom. From number 6, 24 to 26. Yebanechecha Adonai veishmerecha. Yae Adonai panafelecha vichuneka. Isa Adonai panafelecha veyasem lecha. And then peace shalom um, it's a lovely benediction it's, it's, it's a blessing upon God's people uh, also very nice if you could learn these meanings uh, uh, in the spiritual uh, life of uh, followers of our Lord Jesus Christ and then we got here Messiah's prayer okay uh, also based on Matthew 6 uh, 9 to 13 we got uh, some prayers to welcome uh, to welcome in the Sabbath, the day of rest, our Lord's day. For our Lord Jesus is the Lord of the Sabbath. And uh, then we got a bit of um, the Messianic Jewish uh, family Bible society story. Okay, uh, what was going on, why this come to be, and, uh, and so on. And the King's University Sportsmanship Declaration, okay, which uh, actually sponsored... Uh, this this work and translation to reach uh, probably thinking of uh, uh, Jewish families that have uh, become to understand that uh, Jesus Yeshua is our Messiah our Savior and uh, the Son of God and uh, also let me see commendations here's a glossary as well of pronunciations and words which I think uh, you will find very interesting which will bring you another uh, a better understanding as well of certain things that you, we may say uh, in English that have such a deep meaning in the original Hebrew language and uh, let's see we have also one two maps in black and white okay where it shows a uh, the travels of uh, our Lord Jesus Yeshua in the first century Israel and this is the state of Israel today and here we have certain uh, apps or social media that you may want to take a look from uh, the tree of life community I'll just bring that closer to you so you can have a look and stop this if you want to and that's pretty much it this is a lovely uh, edition and I think this is a this is something different to 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 have. Uh, I really thank my friend Damien for for buying this uh, Bible for me in one of his travels and uh, one of his trips. And uh, I am very thankful for for the Lord to have this copy in my hand. Uh, I like reading this uh, Bible from time to time, and uh, uh, it's there. Uh, I think you will enjoy this uh, uh, Bible. It's not. It's very. It's not expensive. You may find this Bible to very affordable. Well, that's all for today. Please like us and subscribe if you haven't done so. And we hope to see you very soon in another uh, review or rebind review. Uh, until next time, shalom. <laughs>